Did you know that lions are the only cats that live in groups, which are called prides? Interestingly, a pride is usually made up of lionesses, their mates and offspring. Lions, these regal creatures of the wild, are unique among their feline counterparts. They are the only ones who live in social groups, known as prides. A pride isn't just any random assembly of lions, though. It's usually a familial unit consisting of related lionesses, their mates and their young ones. The social structure of a lion pride is intriguing, to say the least. It's primarily composed of female lions, the lionesses and their offspring. These lionesses are often sisters or close relatives, and they stay with the pride for life. The male lions, on the other hand, are more transient. They often rotate in and out of prides, primarily driven by the quest for dominance and mating rights. This unique social structure greatly impacts how lions operate, especially when it comes to hunting. Unlike many other predators, lions hunt in coordinated groups and use strategic teamwork. The lionesses are the main hunters of the pride. They work together, using their numbers and strategic coordination to take down prey. The males, while physically stronger and larger, often wait for the lionesses to make a kill before they partake in the feast. This division of labor isn't just about physical prowess, it's also about survival. By having the lionesses hunt, the pride ensures that the physically stronger males are available to protect the group from threats. This way, every member of the pride has a role that contributes to the overall survival and success of the group. Understanding the social structure of lion prides gives us a glimpse into their world. It helps us comprehend how these magnificent creatures live, hunt and survive in the wild. It shows us that lions are not just solitary predators, but complex social creatures with unique behaviors and structures. Lions are truly unique in their social structures, which directly influence their hunting methods. Let's delve deeper into their fascinating hunting process. When it comes to hunting, lions are masters of the art of stalking. They blend into their surroundings, inching closer and closer to their prey. Lions are creatures of stealth and strategy. This art of stalking is a crucial aspect of their hunting technique and survival. The African savanna, with its tall grasses and vast landscapes, is the perfect canvas for these big cats to showcase their stalking prowess. Just imagine a lion, its golden fur blending seamlessly with the sun-scorched grasses of the savanna. It moves with a silent and deliberate grace, every muscle coiled and ready for action. The tall grasses provide the perfect cover, allowing the lion to remain virtually invisible as it edges closer to its unsuspecting prey. But the cover of grass isn't the only tool in the lion's stalking arsenal. Darkness too is their ally. As twilight falls, the lion's nocturnal nature comes into play. The cloak of night enhances their stealth, their dark manes melting into the shadows, their eyes glowing faintly in the dim light. Now let's delve a bit into the lion's sensory capabilities. A lion's keen sense of sight and hearing are instrumental in the stalking process. They have excellent night vision, which is up to six times better than that of a human. This allows them to locate and stalk their prey effectively, even in the low light of dusk or dawn. Their hearing too is highly developed. The slightest rustle of grass, the softest footfall, even the gentlest heartbeat, nothing escapes the lion's acute auditory senses. This heightened sense of hearing aids them in pinpointing the exact location of their prey, even when it's hidden from sight. It's a fascinating dance, a game of life and death with the lion inching closer to its target, undeterred by the challenges of the wild. Each moment is charged with anticipation as the lion calculates its moves, choosing the perfect moment to strike. Once the lion has successfully stalked its prey, it's time for the chase. This is where the real thrill of the hunt begins. The chase is a high-risk, high-reward situation. It's a sprint, not a marathon with lions reaching speeds of up to 50 miles per hour in short bursts. With the savanna as their stage, lions play out an intense drama of life and death. The chase, though brief, is the crux of the hunt. A culmination of stealth, strategy, and sheer power. The lion's strategy is as brutal as it is brilliant, crafted by nature over millennia for maximum efficiency. Let's delve into the mechanics of this deadly pursuit. Lions are not solitary hunters. They are social creatures that hunt in prides, their collective strength outweighing the sum of their parts. Their strategy is simple yet effective. Single out one animal from the herd. It could be the young, the old, the weak or the sick. Essentially, the ones less likely to outrun them. In this deadly game of tag, each member of the pride has a role to play. 
Some lions drive the prey towards a certain direction, others cut off escape routes while the strongest and fastest members of the pride go in for the chase. It's a well-coordinated attack, a testament to their communication skills and team effort. But what makes the lion such an effective predator? The answer lies in its powerful body, built for these short, intense pursuits. Lions have strong muscular bodies and long powerful legs designed for sprinting. Their broad chests house large lungs, providing the necessary oxygen for these high-speed chases. And let's not forget their razor-sharp claws and strong jaws, the tools of the trade for any predator. However, the chase is not without risks. A failed hunt could mean wasted energy and a missed meal. But in the harsh reality of the savannah, it's a risk they must take. For the lion, the thrill of the chase is not just about the hunt, it's about survival. After the adrenaline-fueled chase comes the final act, the kill. The kill is as quick as it is brutal. The lion uses its powerful jaws to suffocate the prey, aiming for the neck or the mouth and nose. This is not a drawn-out process, it is a swift and efficient act of survival. It is the culmination of the chase, the final act in the drama of life and death on the African savannah. The lioness, generally the primary hunter, is a study in strength and precision. She is the one who brings down the prey, her muscles flexing with power as she leaps onto the back of the unsuspecting animal. Her jaws clamp down on the prey's throat, cutting off its air supply, while her sharp claws dig into its flesh, holding it in place. The lioness embodies the raw ferocity of nature, the primal instinct to kill or be killed. But she is not alone. Other members of the pride are quick to join in once the prey is down. They rush in, each one eager to claim their share. The scene is chaotic, filled with the sounds of growling and tearing flesh, but there is a certain order to it as well. Each lion knows its place in the hierarchy, knows when to eat and when to back off. It's a brutal ballet of survival, a dance as old as the savannah itself. Once the kill is made, the lions do not linger. They eat quickly, efficiently, stripping the carcass of meat in a matter of minutes. Every part of the animal is used, nothing is wasted. This is the way of the wild, the unflinching reality of life on the savannah. And so, the final act of the hunt concludes. The lions, sated and content, retreat to the shade of a nearby tree to rest and digest their meal. The savannah returns to its usual calm, the drama of the hunt a mere ripple in its endless cycle of life and death. With the prey subdued, it's time for the pride to feast. From the initial stalk to the final kill, lions' hunting techniques are a testament to their power, precision and teamwork. These majestic creatures, resplendent in their golden fur, are not just symbols of strength and courage, but also of strategic acumen and collective effort. Let's take a moment to revisit their hunting tactics. The art of stalking, an integral part of the lion's hunting strategy, showcases their stealth and patience. They blend into the grasslands, their golden fur providing the perfect camouflage as they inch closer and closer to their unsuspecting prey. Then, with a burst of energy, the deadly chase begins. The lionesses, lighter and faster, lead the charge, their powerful muscles propelling them forward at breathtaking speeds. The males, heavier but no less formidable, follow up, ready to step in if needed. It's a strategic division of labor, a testament to the lion's understanding of their strengths and roles within the pride. The final act, the kill, is a chilling display of the lion's power and precision. With a swift, calculated move, they bring down their quarry, ensuring the survival of their pride. This act isn't just about power, it's about precision, timing, and an innate understanding of their prey's vulnerabilities. These techniques, honed over centuries, are more than just ways to bring down prey. They are essential survival skills, passed down from generation to generation, ensuring the continuity of the pride. Each hunt, each kill, is a lesson for the young cubs, equipping them with the skills they need to survive and thrive in the unforgiving landscapes of the African savanna. In the grand scheme of nature, these hunting techniques are a part of the circle of life. They ensure the survival of the lions, which in turn maintains the balance of the ecosystem. Each hunt, each kill, every success and every failure all contribute to this delicate balance. In the harsh reality of the African savanna, the lion's hunting prowess truly earns it the title of King of the Jungle.